Cooper Grist Mill in Chester, New Jersey. We really brought some instruments out and wanted to try using our instruments there. And uh, very cool investigation for how short it was. Um, Marcy and I were probably there for about an hour and a half. The one thing that I walked away from was the video clip with the knock. You're going to see that on this. And uh, it clearly, I mean, I'm 98% sure. Listen to it. I totally hear knock. And I like to do things like that. When we're using Phasma or Spirit Radio, what am I going to do? Wait for a response. Sing a song. Because that shows you an intelligence. Instead of just letting, you know, words come out of the Phasma. If you can have a reaction to something and then have a voice come through about the react, you know, of the reaction that you just made and you're waiting to hear from. Um, that was really cool. I swear to God, it said the door. Something about the door. Really? Yeah. So here, here we are, we're right by your door. Is there anybody inside that can speak with us? I'm gonna do something. Can you tell me what I'm doing? You. Knock! Marcy! I'm gonna do something. Can you tell me what I'm doing? You. Knock! I'm gonna do something. Can you tell me what I'm doing? You. Knock! What, what did I just do? It, I, I, I'm almost 98% sure it just said knock. I know, in my mind's eye, I'm picking up somebody who's a male, older male, and if I have to say he looks like somebody, Grover Cleveland, like a big kind of robust man. Okay. Big cheeks, like jowls, but... I, I would be very curious to see if there's a person from history that's attached to this that looks like Grover Cleveland. And who is the woman we keep talking to? Sister. Sister. Who's sister? To me, how spirit art works for me, when I go to a location, um, images come to me. And when these images come, it's like watching a movie in your mind's eye. And these images mostly are of people from the time. I'll get to see things that were happening, um, you know, um, people from history. And I'll start sketching it down as soon as I either have time on the investigation or when I go home because they stay with me. Um, and I'll also make notes, you know, man looked like I do read so much history, I can identify certain things and say the man looked more like this and almost like you're doing a crime sketch of somebody. Um, you start comparing attributes. He had a nose like this or, and I'll start c composing um, that, that person that I thought that I saw in my mind's eye. And it's really great when it matches up with history because it's showing that in spirit, Spirit is still attached to these places. You know, death did not end that. You know, and there is that continuity of life where we do go on, you know, once we leave our physical bodies. So spirit art to me is just a huge validation that once we leave our physical bodies, we still are here. We are still, we could still be around places that we loved. We could be around our loved ones. And, uh, you know, it's a great validation.